Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the CSR Advice Box Studio. I'm Marina Stefanova and step by step we are discussing all the sustainability aspects that you implement in your everyday work. Sustainability coming from proactive, transparent and inclusive business behavior. Today I choose to talk about sustainability development goals. Maybe you know, or maybe you didn't hear still, but from starting from January 2016, United Nations adopted a general plan for the whole humanity and the Earth itself, making us progress to 17 very important objectives. We, we, we are going to discuss what is it, how much does it take to implement them or to reach them, uh, how much does it cost? What do, is it required from you? And is it worth at least knowing it or being involved in the process of their implementation? Take a cup of hot chocolate, sit comfortably, put your headphones on and let's start. In September 2015, all 193 member states of United Nations approved anonymously all 17 sustainable development goals that we are putting ahead, drafting or defining the borders of an Agenda 2030 and we are putting all our dreams for the future we want to build. They include mainly Goal number one and poverty in all its forms everywhere. Goal number two, end hunger, achieve food security and improved nutrition and promote sustainable agriculture. Goal number three, ensure healthy lives and promote well-being for all at all ages. Goal number four, ensure inclusive and equitable equality education and promote lifelong learning opportunities for all. Goal number five, achieve gender equality and empower all women and girls. Goal number six, ensure availability and sustainable management of water and sanitation for all. Goal number seven, ensure access to affordable, reliable, sustainable and modern energy for all. Goal number eight, promote sustained, inclusive and sustainable economic growth, full and productive employment and decent work for all. Goal number nine, build resilient infrastructure, promote inclusive and sustainable industrialization and foster innovation. Goal number 10, reduce inequality within and among countries. Goal number 11, make cities and human settlements inclusive, safe, resilient and sustainable. Goal number 12, ensure sustainable consumption and production patterns. Goal number 13, take urgent action to combat climate change and its impacts. Goal number 14, Conserve and sustainably use the oceans, seas and marine resources for sustainable development. Goal 15. Protect, restore and promote sustainable use of terrestrial ecosystems, sustainably managed forests, combat desertification and halt and reverse land degradation, hold biodiversity loss. Goal number 16. Promote peaceful and inclusive societies for sustainable development, provide access to justice for all and build effective, accountable and inclusive institutions at all levels. Goal number 17. Strengthen the means of implementation and revitalize the global partnership for sustainable development. Were you able, during listening the goals, to see some gaps in them. 
I don't think so. I read them many times and I thought, is there something that is missing? No. All our dreams and our objectives are put exactly on a plan having 100, almost 160 KPIs for success. You can think of this as a sure plan not only because of this, but because almost representatives of all stakeholders in a very inclusive and long-term process were sitting, thinking, discussing and drafting them. Now they are planned in three sectors, mainly social sectors, population, fertility, mortality, education, health, insurance, infrastructure, vehicles, employment, income distribution and poverty. Economic sectors, agriculture, industry, services, aggregated production, investment, households, government, governance, finance and balance of payments. Final sector, environmental group, land, soil, water demand, water supply, energy consumption, electricity generation, energy supply, material consumptions, emissions and waste, and biodiversity. My favorite practical question. Is there a perfect recipe for implementation of the SDG in your business? Of course there is not. But there are three things that you should not miss in order to have them fully implemented. The first one is act responsibly. Look at your value chain and see what is the negative and positive impact. Number two, search for the products and services you offer in order to see how you can, you know, enrich them, enlarge them or make them better aligned with the expectations coming from the SDGs. Number three, invest responsibly. Make your purchases and your acts as a, as a global player or local player have a meaning by buying only through companies and sources which are already, already aligned with the SDGs. The process of alignment of the Sustainable Development Goals, Expectations and Indicators is a business process. You have to look at it as one and in order to be perfect you have to follow several steps. First, understand the meaning and the reason behind the Sustainable Development Goals. What is their definition? We already discussed. What is your strategy for sustainable development? This is also something that we were working on during the, our last uh, episode. So now we have to think, are there any touching point? What is the meaning and what is the expectations coming from, uh, what are the expectations coming from the Sustainable Development Goals? Is it a dream? Is it a UN document? Or it is a plan for action? Is it calling you for action, not only you, but all stakeholders, including your customers, employees, partners from outside the company, and various representatives of many other institutions like the state, like the trade unions, like uh, universities and academia. Step number two. Define your priorities. I hope you don't think that you are supposed to save the whole planet and the whole humankind. No, we are not making it happen and I don't think that it is something that you should focus on. The main things that you can see are the things that are put on your map on the plan that you already did during the materiality analysis and finally have all the follow the value chain that you belong to. There are many things inside of it. You can then define the areas that you can have an impact direct and indirect. And finally just select several KPIs. Only several, maybe they will come from two or three goals, not more. Step number three. Set your goals. If you want to really have a strict plan, 
you cannot just have all the KPIs around you. You have to really put some of the KPIs that are important for you, that you can follow, you can collect data, and you can progress on. And then you can just double check whether they are included in the KPIs of the SDGs themselves. What does it mean? It means that there are 70 goals, but there are almost 160 indicators how we can reach them with measurement percentage or defined numbers. So you have to find your place there and you can, you can just pick one or two from the indicators coming from the SDGs and all the others can be only your own indicators being particularly focused and reflecting on your business. Finally, when you have your ambition plan, go and check it with your stakeholders. Now you can see whether it is too ambitious or it is too modest. Now you, uh, then you will have the opportunity to make it together, to work on it together. Step number four is about integration. Integration is something that you already know. It is all the steps that you have to, uh, to undertake in order to see sustainability development goals implemented by all the subjects and all divisions of your company. Integrating also means training, also means practicing, but the core thing, the most important thing, is to use your two very strong powers. The first one is the purchasing one. This is something that you can find in your supply chain and you are its manager, you know? The second one is hidden in the research and development department. What does it mean? When you see all the products and services you produce, it's time for social innovation, for ecological improvement, for some process change which is going to come as a result from their work and their recommendations. Listen them. Finally, it is step number five, communication and reporting. You know that this is not only your result and you have to share it with your stakeholders, also including the states or other instruments that are gathering information for the overall SDG implementation. Do not forget that the last KPMG um, research showed that among the 250 largest worldwide corporations, more than 93% report on sustainability KPIs. This means that being part of their supply chain, you are supposed to report them voluntarily or later on, not that much. I don't know, you tell me. It is the one action plan to save and develop humankind and Earth itself. I hope that these 15 years that we have ahead, now they are less than 15 of course, we will be able, able to manage to see and to implement the shift that we want to achieve. Most of the companies who already recognize the SDGs as part of their business planning declare that till 2020 they will be able to perform all the mapping that we already discussed together with the part of the research and development in order to be able to have 10 years for complete integration and follow-up of their change. I hope you will manage in a shorter time. I don't know, really. Some of the projections of the money that we want to or we need to spend are huge enough to say, uh, so everybody can say, no, I don't want to start. You don't need to bother about all around funding coming, about, uh, coming on uh, in order to implement these goals. Just align them with your core business and be able to see what is your budget line, for example, for innovations and just use it in order to align it with the expectations of the market and the society around you. You can use the SDGs as a common plan and common language and not necessary as a tool on which you have to report separately in the, in, in the amount of money.
in my opinion, there are three very important uh, advantages of aligning with the SDGs starting from today. The first thing is that you really search, you know, that businesses, states and consumers usually speak on a different language. And we search for a common ground in order to be able to see that we are useful in our own way, that we have the same values. So SDGs are part of our joint language, of our shared common future. The second very important thing, which is directly focusing the market, is the new developed market opportunities. All the innovations that you are going to offer to the market can be, and maybe they are, but you didn't see it before, aligned with some of these 17 goals. So why not being able to advertise them, to identify them with the sustainable development goals as themselves. And finally, it is the reputation. It is the opportunity to be able to attract, to uh, define your sustainability efforts to all the stakeholders, starting from the owners of the company. This is a strength on sustainability because it is shared from everybody. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for being with us in the CSR Advice Box Studio. I'm Marina Stefanova and I would recommend you, if you like this video, go to our YouTube channel and subscribe for any further coming videos online. If you're really urging to go and see all the series, our website www.csrab.com is awaiting you and you can pre-buy them. I'm looking forward to seeing you in two weeks when we are going to discuss how to build the best, the most successful team in order to implement your sustainability plan in the company you operate. Till then, follow us on Facebook and like, share and distribute all the news that we are sharing with you from the CSR agenda worldwide, thus helping us to grow our CSR online practitioners society.